Welcome back to the Community Spotlight. Today we're going to take a look at some more vehicles from 2020, and we're going to start with White Noise's WN400i MRG Enforcer. Let's get started. Alright, so this is by White Noise. This is from April of 2020, and this is the Enforcer, the WN400i MRG Enforcer. And so, as you can see, pretty cool build. Nice tail lights. What is that? What is that? Ah! Truck space. All right, can we shut it? Uh, oops. No, I don't want to grab the handle. I want to shut it. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's uh, check this out. Looks like it has some cool sirens up there. So let's see if we can get this thing going. How do you shut the door? All right. Key. Check. Uh, push to talk. We don't need any of that stuff. Long lights. What are the long lights? What? Long lights? Long lights. I think that'd be like headlights, but that doesn't seem to work. Is the engine on? It is. Constantly playing with the sounds now because it's either way too loud or way too low. Okay. Headlights. Fog lights. I can't, can't click them. Fog lights. Fog lights. Open it. Well, let's check out the hood real quick. Oh, there's a little engine. I, don't think, I think the long lights are supposed to be the ones on top, right? The bar? Maybe not. I don't know. Megaphone? Flashing lights. Okay, here we go. There we go. That looks cool. Parking brake is off, so we're going to leave that like that. This is our gear. Um, our gear is... How do you up... I'm guessing up down arrow, maybe? Or is it automatic? Oh, it's the automatic. All right. So there we go. Seems to drive nice. It's not too fast, so it doesn't go out of control. Uh-oh. Oh, the wheels do not seem to want to turn on some of these cars. Now, I had some really good cars, and maybe they had, I don't know, different settings than later. I don't know what the deal is, but this car, this car has some issues with turning. Okay, now watch. I'm going to try to turn right. Yeah, I don't know. That Toyota, remember the Toyota? It turned really nice. You know what? Let's let's do that right here, right now. Let's just check out some settings here. All right, so here's the settings on this tire. Stiffness, 100. Dampening, dampening, 30. And then 100, 100. So 130, 100, 100. Okay, here is the Toyota. Remember this one from the other day? Let's check out these settings here. So high grip... Stiff, stiffness 40, 100, 100, tire pressure 0. Interesting. Let's let's just try that. Okay, let's get the cop car back out here. High grip. This is 40 in the front, 1%, 100. I apologize for editing your car, but I really want to see if that's what the deal is with these cars. That you just lower the tire pressure to like nothing, and then they work better. All right, here we go. Ready? Let's try it. All right, here we go. Our test. <laughs> this is much worse. Why does that Toyota work so well? What the heck? Did I do the wrong one in the back tires? High grip. I mean, yeah, whatever. It's not that big a deal. High grip. Okay, let's look at that Toyota yet again. I, I have no idea. Cause look, look at this thing. Let's drive this thing really quick again. I know I was supposed to do a spotlight, but now we're doing apparently a comparison test. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, I forgot. Not American car. Uh, brakes are on. Where's the brakes? Handbrake number two. All right, watch this. See this? I don't, I don't know what the difference is, but it's huge in the way this one performs. All right, so anyways, all right, so anyway, we didn't learn anything from our little test, but um, yeah, there's something going on with the wheels on this car, because it's kind of difficult to turn. Maybe if you only go fast. Yeah, if you go faster, it just stops kind of turning. And now maybe he had something in there to limit the turning to... Uh, to allow you to go fast that way you could kind of control it when you're going fast kind of stop your turning from being excessive 
but uh, I don't know. It does feel a bit more difficult to drive than the uh, the Toyota, but I don't know. Um, I don't build cars, so there you go. So you can download this in the description below and check it out for yourself. All right, next up, as you can see, it's sitting over there, is the MR-12 Orion Futuristic Spaceship by Lazy Space. And uh, it says read the description, so we're going to read the description to see what it says before we try it. It says, this is the MR-12 Orion Futuristic Spaceship. It is highly advanced futuristic spaceship. That's kind of redundant. The ship is constantly stabilized by custom gyro, so it's easy to operate and fly around. I also have a mission to spawn it if you don't have it. What's that do? That's what I was hoping. Oh, ouch. That's what I was hoping it did. That's kind of neat. They're like stretched microcontrollers, I think. Or are those the old magnets? Oh, those are the old magnets. Got it. Okay. Cool. All right. So, do we have a flashlight? We do. All right. We can look around here. Got a little conference room. We have a... What is this? Oh, that's a conference room too. And then we have camera. And what's this? Oh, come back. Oh, that's a helm. Okay, let's go back in the front real quick. See what's back up in the front. Um, okay. What's that do? What's that? I don't. Did that open up that? Oh, I think that's a way in. Okay door. Okay, that's that door. Okay. Now if we go up in the front here. What is this? Okay, seating. And then we have like a little room here. Alright, what? Uh, I don't know what that is. Is that looking outside? What is that? I don't know what that is. That's odd. Okay, and then we don't want to go back there. Okay, so let's go back up to the helm of this ship here. Which is over here? Up here. In the elevator. Okay. Whew. All right. So we have a turret, which was probably, I'm guessing, are these water turrets? Let's see. Oh, no. They're like gun turrets here. Oh, wait. Yeah, they are gun turrets. Okay. Um, okay. Power. Oh, whoa, whoa. Now we got to turn down the sound. All right, booster engines, laser guided engines. We don't want that. Bridge lights, oh, that helps. Reduce lag mode, I don't know what that means. Interior lights. All right, let's, uh, let's try flying this thing. Let's see, up arrow. All right, so far so good. So how do we go forward? Tip it? No, I think we got the booster engines. Um, yeah. All right. There we go. Okay, this is kind of cool. Laser landing gear. We don't need that. Oh, yeah. Let's thrust it. Uh-oh. It's trying to go down. Let's go up. There we go. It's kind of a cool build. I don't know what it reminds me of, but... It's really kind of a cool-looking thing. I like this two-sectional part in the front. Kind of a... I don't know. Two-tone? Looks good. Okay, if I let go of my S... Is it going to go back down, or is it going to stay sturdy? Yeah, relatively sturdy. All right, cool. Yeah, this is the Orion Futuristic uh, Spaceship by Lazy Space. And you can download this in the description below. I think we have time for another one. Let's do another one. So our last vehicle today is a cool, very cool, 1989 Toyota, or Toyo2, Yankee Safari RS Camper. And this is by... Explorerize and Utopian, it appears. And this is from uh, April of 2020. And this is just cool. This looks, <laughs> it looks like a Toyota. It really does. 
So I'm loving the look and feel of this thing. This is something that I think that if it's server friendly, you would really want on a server just to like hang out. Look at the headlights with the glass. That looks good. I hang out and drive around the server and camp if there was like a survival thing, but we don't have that. But if we did, you know, never mind. Let's just move on. All right, there we go. And can we go in the back here and check it out real quick? All right, so nice detailing, a lot of nice detailing on this one. Look at this. Seats. We've got, is this a toilet? Okay, always hard to get in toilets. Nice little toilet. Ah, look at toilet paper. Very nice. And then we have the sink and the stove. Lights. We have a nice little DVD player up there. Yeah, overall, really just a great looking little build. Feels like a Toyota camper. Love it. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get back in here. Turn on this ignition. We've got a little map, which is cool. I don't think old 1989 Toyota had a cool map like that in there, but uh, maybe this is like the uh, updated version. Maybe that's an iPad. Okay, it's a brake on. Brake on when spawned. Okay, three. Brakes are evil. Did I not hit the brake? Oh, wait. Is this a... Oh, it's a, it's a manual transmission. Okay, one. All right. Drives nice. Okay, what is that noise? Like an air conditioner or something? Okay, headlights. Yeah, okay, I don't... I hear like a fan or something. Maybe yeah, that's supposed to be the air condition? I don't... I'm not sure. Alright, what else do we have here? Low range heater. Hazard lights. What does it look like at night? Hold on. Kind of dark on the screen, but uh, as you can see, it looks cool at night. It looks like an old camper truck, um, 1989 Toyota uh, camper truck. So pretty cool looking. Lights on the top, lights on the side. Do we have lights on the back? I assume we do. Yeah, that looks good. Look, and you can see inside. Isn't that nice? I don't know if you've ever seen that on a highway, but you see like a camper and they have light on the side. That's what it looks like. It's like a little light and like the interior is kind of like that light brown. All right, I'm talking way too much about this thing, but it's really nice, and you can download this in the description below. Where's that at? It has the lights off. We're just gonna see if we can upshift a little faster here. And it even has a little awning right there on the window, which is nice. Whoa! So I think that is it for today. So let's wrap this up. All right, that's it for today. If you have the bell, go ahead and do so. So it goes ding dong when I upload a new video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you next time.